Reported earlier at four, the White House Coronavirus Task Force condemns Governor Kemp's handling of the pandemic, saying the refusal to mandate masks plunged the state deeper into crisis and has just prolonged our recovery. The death toll here in Georgia spiked this week, 136 on Tuesday, the most in a single day since the pandemic started. It's been falling since then, though. 109 on Wednesday, 83 yesterday, and today, 35 more deaths reported. Joining us to shed some light on the issues facing the state, Dr. Harry Heineman, clinical associate professor in the School of Public Health at Georgia State. Uh, Dr. Heineman, uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, we do want to talk about these numbers. Certainly, the increasing number of deaths is, is very concerning for us, but how do we reconcile the numbers with 3,300 new cases of COVID-19 reported in the last 24 hours? I think we're seeing a pretty predictable trend. You see an increase in cases, followed by an increase in hospitalization, followed by an increase in death. And unfortunately, uh, we're not putting in place the policies and practices that we need to be, which is why just in this past week alone, we've seen uh, over 23,000 new cases, 1,500 uh, new patients hospitalized for COVID, and over 450 people who've died as a result of it. Uh, uh, it's, it's very unfortunate. You talk about some of the policies, uh, doctor, and of course, one of those is a mask mandate. And we've been watching a legal battle that seems to have died down for now between the governor and the mayor over a mask mandate. How much of a difference would a mandate make at this point? I think the public health uh, evidence is compelling that mandating masks uh, dramatically increases the number of people that wear masks. And the more people that wear masks, the less transmission of COVID there is. Uh, so it's a very strong policy tool that uh, many other governors around the country have used and have, have seen positive results as a result of that. And the task force also recommending, you know, some businesses uh, closing, of course, to um, uh, prevent some of the spread of COVID-19. But a lot of the businesses and obviously schools already open. So how do we unring this bell? You know, I think that there's this false narrative that either we're locked down or we're wide open, and there's lots of potential steps in between. Um, I think it's clear from the White House recommendations and what I and other public health professionals have been recommending um, that uh, mandating masks, um, uh, stepping back our reopening, uh, particularly around gyms, bars, nightclubs. Um, I think it's... it's uh, also not safe right now to have indoor dining in restaurants. Uh, and I think that it's not safe to reopen schools and universities to in-person instruction. Mm. Dr. Harry Hyman is clinical associate professor in the School of Public Health at Georgia State. Dr. Hyman, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.